<sighs> Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? It's Big P here, the voice of hardcore boxing. I'm going to be brave today and go against the grain because certain people around me don't want me to talk about this issue but are we going to get in a situation soon where we don't need the WBC, the WBA, the WBO, the IBF and the IBO? Are we going to get in a situation where we don't need these governing bodies? Where we don't need these governing bodies dictating and manoeuvring and making the rules up as they go along and basically just doing what they want. Because it's all hype and all he said, she said, isn't it? I think we should just have the Ring magazine and British title and that's it and forget all the rest. Forget The EBU's even a joke, isn't it? The EBU's a joke. You know, they, they tend to favour European promoters rather than English. These intercontinental belts, international belts, I don't rate all them. I rate the British title and I rate a world title if you do it the proper way. But I, I, I just think that we're, in, we're entering, entering an era now where I don't think belts are going to be important. I think social media is going to get fighters out there to such an extent that the profiles are massive that they don't need a belt. If Tyson Fury said, I'll fight Joshua but there's no belts online because he's got all the belts so why does he want to be paying astronomical fees for having all them belts? He doesn't because he's got them all now, hasn't he? So I personally think that Tyson could put the belts in the bin and just have the ring magazine belt on the line against Joshua. Why should he let Joshua have the chance to win the WBC when Joshua pinched the IBF off him, didn't he? And you could say pinch them others, couldn't you really? But that was probably Tyson's own fault. He allowed that to happen, didn't he? But the W, what Eddie Earn forgets, he keeps going on about unified. Joshua was a unified champion. He got the IBO belt, didn't he? Well, the WBA and the IBO were vacant when they fought when he fought Vladimir. How can Vladimir stay out of boxing 18 months and come back and be fighting in a fight for two vacant belts plus the IBF that Joshua already had? Fair enough, Joshua got the WBO, didn't he? But uh, that was Tyson Fury's belt and Parker had it, and that were one in a vacant fight against Ruiz in a fight I thought Ruiz won so as far as I'm concerned belts are a shambles all of them really I give the IBO a bit of credit but I think down the line they all do what they want all the all belts we ought to outlaw a lot of them get rid of all these belts just that ring magazine belt and that's it and British title I don't I don't rate any other belts I don't I think you need central area belts. I don't need we don't need English belt, do they? They never had that one Clinton and Woods for. Central area belt for kids coming through, British title and then world title. Once you win a British title, you're usually you're usually more or less either rank with world anyway, but why do we need all these belts? They're the problem, belts and too many cooks spoil the broth, too many people in the kitchen. Have you ever tried to make toast in the morning and bacon and eggs or whatever your breakfast and all your family are in the kitchen? Have you ever tried that? Well that's what it's like at the moment isn't it with these trying to get these big fights. We're being told one thing and we're just being spun narratives and half at battle is YouTubers that are in the pockets of certain promoters. I'm not in anybody's pocket. I'll hang Dennis out to dry any day I want. I'm not in anybody's pocket. But some of these are just the propaganda that's going on. I mean, I can't. I used to watch sporting icons all the time and Hatman, but go and look at their videos now and ask them why they're not putting certain things out because they're not going to blow the chances, are they? I can understand that. But don't spin narratives, speak the truth. Why ain't nobody reporting on their zone? They're not, are they? We've done a video on that, but this video is about belts, 
Should we get rid of all the belts, all the five world title belts? Yes, we should. Get rid of them. Let's just have Ring Magazine belt because it's so confusing, isn't it? The Derry Matthews situation and, and Crawler. Derry Matthews and Anthony Crawler, both WBA interim champions. Derry's not got his belt. Crawler got his belt, but he's known as regular champion. I, I don't get it all. But Derry isn't. And, but yet, if you look on Box Rock, it's saying... We need clarification. We don't need WBA Super. We don't need we don't need WBA Regular. We don't need Interim, and we don't need WBA Gold. Five world champions from one governing body. Five, and it's, it's craziness. It's madness. People getting upgraded to champions. I mean, Frank Warren's made a career out of upgrading people with a WBO, and in Nathan Cleverly, Enzo Macronelli, Jason Matthews. That's free. He upgraded Dennis Lebedev, didn't he? Dennis Lebedev. With WBA though, that, not the WBO. Ricky Burns, WBO, he were upgraded. I mean, how many of these? Ken Norton would even upgraded one. He with WBC back in the day. What, what, what's going on? These, could you imagine? Could you imagine somebody saying, we're going to award Tottenham Hotspur the European Cup this year. We're going to upgrade them to champions. Could you imagine if they gave Liverpool the title now, when mathematically they could lose it if they lost every game and Man City won every game? But could you imagine if they gave Liverpool the title now? Well, we're going to give them it anyway because we're upgrading them to champion. What? What's going on? When's somebody going to make a stand against this instead of people rimming people and hanging out of the back of them? Eh? Leave a comment in the comment section, like and subscribe. That way you'll get your porky fix. Uh, if you want to email me, porkycorner at mail.com. Somebody will deal with email. And uh, if it's a nice email, they'll forward it to me. If it's not so nice, I won't get to do I won't get to see it. So alright, so keep your comments coming in. Peace out.